are in the business of designing, developing, creating audio monitoring technologies. It's basically microphones. We make microphones and we make base stations. The idea is, is to capture the sound that's available and use that sound effectively to either prevent loss, to secure assets, and to thwart adversaries who would want to break into a system. Our job is to build a really good product. Today, we're 35 years old. We are probably in more countries than anyone else that's built this product. The philosophy that I hear most often is, when you're a team, you play and you play to win. It's still a play. It's, life is hard enough. The diversity here works to our advantage. We're here to win, and we do that with a passion. One of the great tricks for us at Luro here is being able to use a consultancy practice to, to enable us to do what we didn't do ourselves. CMTC had come to us and said, uh, we're doing a survey of small businesses and we'd like to know if you were interested. I am the luckiest guy in the world. My name is Peter Athanis, and I am a senior consultant at uh, CMTC. We are an MEP center uh, in Southern California. We're asked to go out into the field and to engage in manufacturers to improve them in some way. The questions that that senior consultant from CMTC asked me told me, I'm in the right hands. I'm in the right company. We trained his people, uh, his most important asset. From there, we started to understand that we've had, we have some capacity in the shop now. Well, that's when the innovation program started. We took a team of their people and we taught them how to think innovatively. We taught them how to implement this innovation system. CMTC says, I'm going to grow you through innovation. And now what are you going to do with this innovative new product? You're going to go sell it. Who are you going to go sell to? Would you like to sell it outside the United States? Sure. Tell me how. The Export Tech Program is an MEP initiative. It's almost like a peer review program where you're in the consultant stage with four or five other companies who are doing the same thing that you are. You're learning from people who have already been through it. Now, the exporting program is really a strategic look at, at where they could go. It's really about who are our partners, who can we build relationships with, that's going to champion our products in this other country. What they learn through the export tech is not only where they could go to sell their devices, but who might need them. They also uh, got wind of some projects. They did enough research to know that there are things that are opening up for them, immediate need, and that's where they really um, got their value. We went from a five-figure number in Mexico to a six-figure number. In one year, we had a 1,200% growth in our revenues uh, from that export opportunity, and we were submitted without us knowing to the Los Angeles Chamber of Commerce and World Trade Week. We drove down there and stood in front of 650 people and got an award for doing something we wanted to do. Wow. Um, it wouldn't happen without CMTC. I get asked from time to time, I work with this manufacturing extension partnership. Where can I get best practices? Where can I get continuous improvement? Where can I get efficiencies that reduce my cost? Where can I get greater opportunities to grow my revenues and have a partner that doesn't take a lot out of me to do that? I get two more arms because of MEP. I get two more legs because of MEP. I get a library that's bigger than you know, my brain because of MEP. I think sky's the limit for Laurel. They're organized for growth. I think they've done their homework. They have plans to add employees. They have plans to grow into new markets. They have plans to develop new products. What more can a company ask for? This is too much fun. I want to go out and receive another award for these employees. Uh,